So you want to know how to get this quality. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you my render settings. This video is separated in four parts. The raw videos, the high quality settings, the rendering and the busting. Okay, so let's wait no more time and get right into it. Once you find your video, you will have to make sure that at least it has 180 of quality. If it has 4K, it's way better. Okay, well, next thing you're gonna copy the link of your video and you're gonna paste it on 4K video don't want it. I'll leave you a link below so you can install it. Click here and paste link and well, if, if your video only have 180 of quality, well, just do this option. But if it has 4K, then you will have to do something else. I'll leave you this handbrake in the description too. You just don't want it and install it. And then you will only have to drag your video. Then here, make sure that it's MP4. Here and dimensions and resolution, it is in 180 by default, but you will have to change it to 4K. Once you've done that, here in video, and uh, make sure it's H264, the first one, constant frame rate, and same as source. Uh, here in quality, uh, I always leave it in 22. Uh, it's, there it says that. If you put it like that it's higher quality in the other side lower quality but i mean 22 is okay because if you increase it more you won't see any difference and the file will get uh heavier i don't know if that's how am i supposed to say it heavier i was living in 22 and i haven't seen any difference if i increase it more so i'm cool with 22. you don't have to do nothing else i think uh, make sure that it is on 4k here in the resolution down here you will be able to see where you saving your file and well then you just have to click here and start encode and wait for it well as you can see here we have our uh, video that we can now bring it to our after effects once you have brought your video to after effects you will notice that the video is bigger than the normal composition size the only way you can fix that is just decreasing the scale so now you can start editing your clips once you've done editing your edit, the next thing you will add is an adjustable layer. Here you will add the effect sharpen. Something that I want to tell you is this little effects bar that you see here. You can have it. It's free. It's a free plugin. I'll let you a uh, link in the description. You will only have to download it and install it and you will have it. It's free. Okay, here then in sharpen, we're going to increase as much as we want. Do not increase it that much. I always let it about 50 because if you increase uh, too much the settings, you will notice that there are a lot of noise and we don't want that. It's really annoying. So I always let it around 50. Okay, so well, it looks good. The next thing we're going to add is a sharpen mask. I always put here around 10 or 20 and here I put it around 30 or 50. Okay, so now we can see a big difference. This take out, I think, the like the bright that it has, sometimes the character around them, and result more the person, as far as I see, because I, I don't know what actually it does, but I always use it. Again, you don't have to follow up step by step what I do. You can play a little bit with the settings. Here is before and after we add all the effects. Something that I also add sometimes is the curves. Uh, here you can play a little bit with the lines or with the red, blue, and green. Uh, don't don't play so much or you will have crazy results. Then I add some brightness and contrast. Just add, the most of the time, just add some brightness. Okay, so now we move to the next part that is rendering. Press B and N to select the area you want to render. Then here in Compositions, we're gonna click on Add to Render Cube. Cube, Cube, I never know how to say it. Well, here in Render, you're gonna click here. Here on Quality, here on Quality, make sure that it's in best, everything in full, size the same as the composition, frame rate also the same as the composition and you don't have to do nothing much just click here and oak that's it then click down here 
and you can use between QuickTime and AV. I don't see any difference between them. It's true that I see a little faster the QuickTime. I don't know why, but I mean, it's the same as AV. But meh. Well, here RGB and press OK. Then you only have to click on render and wait for it to render it. Here we have it. Now we have the bronze. We cannot play our video and sometimes it's it's so much heavy. So to fix that, we're going back to After Effects and we're gonna create a new composition with the same size as the original. And we're gonna bring our, our edit that we just rendered. Here you can uh, add your logo, like your your act, your name act. I always put it here. And well, then you will again have to select your work area, then go back to composition and add to Adobe Media and Core Cube. Then click here and follow my steps because I'm too lazy to explain all of this. All right. Well, once you've done that, uh, you only have to click here on render and wait for it to render. <laughs> I don't know why mine's in Spanish, I supposed that I changed it, but I don't know why that's in change, but whatever. Uh, here once you are in Creator Studio, you will have to change it to Instagram here. And here you will click on create post, I guess it is like that, I don't know, or posting, I don't know. Uh, click here and feed up Instagram. Type whatever you want, upload your file, that in this case is the edit that you render, and you can also add place a notification. God damn it! And well, you just have to click here on posted or publicity. Actually, I don't know how it is in English, but well, well, it's the same. And that's it, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more tutorials or random videos, whatever I bring next. Also, I okay, at the moment you're watching this, I'm working in something for Lisa, but I'm not sure if I will post it, well, tomorrow, maybe in two or three days. I hope that I finish, but well, uh, see you in the next video, bye-bye. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs>